As a digital entrepreneur or remote worker, one of the biggest benefits is being able to live and travel wherever you want. And this is huge. Barbados, yes, the tropical paradise Barbados, just announced a program that invites remote workers, and I assume also digital entrepreneurs, it doesn't say specifically on there, to stay in Barbados. Right now, it's for a one-year period that might be extended. Who knows how that will work? to ride out COVID in paradise. Now, Barbados, obviously, sun, sand, beaches, no snow. Just grab your laptop, apply for the welcome stamp visa, and you are likely in. And there seems to be very few restrictions or requirements on this program. And this is obviously a unique way for Barbados to bolster the economy while tourism has taken a big hit. Now, there's no information on how many applications they're going to take, if there's going to be a cutoff date. So if you are interested, it's best to get your application in as soon as you can. Let's take a look at the requirements of the program. So who is eligible? It really looks like anybody who is deriving income from a remote work situation or a business that expects to earn a minimum of $50,000 in the 12 month period. Now you're not able to work in Barbados legally, so you'll need to bring a source of income with you. Now they do say that applications are gonna be processed 48 hours after you submit it, and your visa is gonna be confirmed or denied within seven days. So in seven days, you could be approved to go live in Barbados for a year. And I'm gonna post a link to the application down below. So I headed over to the government website for the FAQs. Uh, the cost for an individual to apply is $2,000. The family bundle fee is $3,000. This is in US funds. Now it's important to note you only pay after your visa is approved. So there's no risk in applying. A lot of these government schemes around the world do not refund your money if you're denied. So this is a pretty good deal. Now there was a CNBC piece recently where they were ragging on Barbados for paying taxes and you have to pay double taxes. But it says right here on the government website, you are not going to be subject to paying Barbadian income tax. So you're gonna be paying whatever taxes you would pay from your home country while living in paradise. So internet, uh, Barbados apparently boasting the fastest fiber internet and mobile services in the Caribbean. Health insurance, uh, you're gonna need to set that up before you arrive in Barbados. If you have kids, uh, non-nationals may attend private school or pay a small stipend for the attendance at state-owned public schools. Education is compulsory for children between the ages of five and 16. In regards to transport, you have a lot of transportation methods to choose from, including car rentals, limousines, taxi rentals, and our renowned public transportation system of transport buses and VR vans. You can also rent bicycles and electric bicycles on two wheels by renting a scooter, bike, motorcycle, or Segway. It should also be noted that Barbados has avoided most of the COVID problems and has extremely low number of cases. I'd assume they're gonna be testing people before entry into the country, but there's no mention of this on their website. Now, I've heard that several other countries might be opening similar programs. Portugal, for example, stay tuned for updates on that. Now, from a broader perspective, with countries starting to loosen up their borders, it's interesting to wonder what impact this might have on the US and Canada and Western countries. As we become more globalized, we work remotely, it's easy to start questioning tax rates, politics, and reasons why we're living where we do. There's an increasing number of investor programs out there as well that offer long-term residency. Uh, for example, the Panama Friendly Nations Visa uh, you can get that for as low as $5,000 investment. It allows you to live long-term and become a resident of Panama. So if you're tired of your apartment walls just sitting there looking, you can bring your virtual work with you. You can also help the Barbadian economy while working out on the beach. I'm gonna post that link above to a great speech from Maya Motley, the Prime Minister of Barbados, and the link to apply for the Welcome Stamp program is down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the beach.